Hello guys, Matthew here from UChat. In today's, today's video, I'm going to talk about the WhatsApp Cloud API, okay? Meta actually released the WhatsApp Cloud API on 20th May this month, okay? And we have finished the integrations on 23. And it take us three days, and we are very excited to release the integrations, but we have some issues, okay? So I will um, talk about the issues uh, a little after, but before that, let's first share what the user experience looks like, you know, if it, uh, you know, uh, if we have what we want. So first of all, let me show you a quick demo, okay? In this demo, I'm going to show you how to connect and how to use, okay? So let me share my screen. So the WhatsApp cloud will be a separate channel, okay? In this channel, you will be able to connect your WhatsApp account. It will ask you to log in with your Facebook account, okay? And after that, you can continue. You need to select the Facebook business manager you want to link, okay? Because I already linked my account, so, it, so it's not showing anything for me to choose now. Okay, so now if I click OK and it will go back to you chat and here you can list your phone numbers that in that particular Facebook business account and then you can choose which number you want to build the chatbot. Okay, for example, I have a test number of here I can select and then you can click this create bot and you can start building your chatbot. Okay, so this is a very simple process and it will be exactly, you know, the message type and all the features functions are supported like 360 dialog. Okay, that means the template message, the product catalog message, and also the inbound webhook and the WhatsApp stickers and all those message types are supported. Okay, so now let me uh, actually switch to a different workspace and let me show you a quick demo, okay? This one is already connected and I will preview this bot so that you can have an idea, okay? So first of all, let me link my mobiles over here. And it's a very simple message, okay? It's just the two buttons. One is linked to a second message. Another is just a question, ask your email address, okay? Very simple ones. But you know that we support all those message types, right? Template message, product catalog message that is all well supported. Also in this Facebook, in, you know, WhatsApp Cloud API. So um, let me share my screens over here. So let me preview. And you will be able to see the message coming in my WhatsApp. Okay. So if I click over here, it has two buttons and I can click this one, it will send a simple message. If I click get email, it will be a question block. It will ask my email so that I can type it over here. And then it will display this email back to me. Okay, it's a very simple one. But you know that we support all those different uh, messages you can use, okay? So this is the whole this is the whole demo okay this is how it should looks like and it's ready to use but let me show you what the issues okay the issue is you know what's the holding up the holding up is currently the whatsapp cloud api that is all only good for individual business to use okay it's not suitable for the platform like you chat you know it's not it's not uh, easy for us to scale because there is one very important permissions we need from the API, from the API, but that that API is not uh, that permission is not opened now. Okay, I heard that uh, you know um, it still takes um, two months, something around that timeline, and then they will open this um, you know permissions for us, and only then we can you can build the you know you the the whole solutions you can easily connect with your Facebook account and then you can sync the numbers back and then you can create the WhatsApp bot using all the template, all the message types we support, okay? So 
that is you know very important piece uh, of the permissions we need okay so that's the holding up and also i think is i'm going to talk about what's next okay the next is for one option is for us to wait we prefer to wait because this user experience if if we get that api permissions this user experience is much more smoother okay it's much more um it's so much better okay but there is also a workaround it takes a lot of manual work okay you need to create an app and also we needed to make the changes you know to generate a webhook for you and you know there's a lot of manual work back and forth so it's not um, it's not a scalable solutions okay so now the solution actually for us is first we will wait okay i think these api permissions will be released very soon okay if after two or three months this is still there is no you know there is no signs to have this uh, to open these permissions for the platform like us and then we will start working on you know this workaround it takes um, it takes some effort to set it up but it's that def it's definitely feasible it's workable okay so that is our plans for the uh, whatsapp cloud api and before end of this video, I just want to, you know, explain a little bit about the difference of, uh, you know, if you are using sort of Stellog and the WhatsApp Cloud API. This is actually uh, sending from 36 Stellog. Okay, they are explaining they are explaining the difference between these two API options. Okay, what's the difference? So as you can see, 36 Stellog, they are encrypted. Okay. The meta cloud is they are not encrypted WhatsApp message, okay. And also, uh, Swiss dialog they have you know they have local and they have GDPR compliance. And meta that is all the data is hosting in US. And also all this um, support basically if you are using the cloud API, it's very difficult to get the support, right? But if you are then if you are using Swiss dialog, it's very easy for you to create a ticket to let them help you solve a problem. Okay. And also the account activation in Swiss dialog is very smooth. Okay. It's very uh, very fast. The the met, you know uh, the way to create the number and connect the number and in Facebook Business Manager. I would say it's not a. I definitely say it's not a smooth experience. Okay, I think it's uh, it's complex. Uh, I can imagine, but I cannot see. You know, um, I don't think it's uh, smooth uh, compared to three C dialog. Okay, and also uh, with three C dialog, they have very detailed documentations and you know uh, basically all the help documents. If you need any, that that is well documented. But with uh, cloud API, so it's uh, sometimes it's you know it's a little difficult to get the help uh, to find the documentations. They will much more rely on the platform like YouChat to provide this kind of uh, you know help documents. So that is um, that is the um, difference between these two. Okay. Personally, for me, I think it's depending on um, what you want to use. Okay, so yeah, I, I will leave that choice up to you. I just want to point to share this document from Six Dialog to explain the difference. Okay, so um, that is um, that is I think that is for today. Thank you. See you next time.